6. Jesus teaches on divorce. Matthew 5, 31, It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. Matthew 5, 32, But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Matthew 19, 1 And it came to pass, that when Jesus had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee, and came into the coasts of Judea beyond Jordan. Matthew 19, 2 And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. Matthew 19, 3 The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Matthew 19, 4 And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read, that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Matthew 19, 5 And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Matthew 19, 6 Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Matthew 19, 7 They say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement, and to put her away? Matthew 19, 8 He saith unto them, Moses because of the hardness of your heart suffered you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. Matthew 19, 9 And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery, and whoso marrieth her which is put away doth commit adultery. Matthew 19, 10 His disciples say unto him, If the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. Matthew 19, 11 But he said unto them, All men cannot receive the saying, save they to whom it is given. Matthew 19, 12 For there are some eunuchs, which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs, which were made eunuchs of men, and there be eunuchs, which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Mark 10, 1 And he arose from thence, and cometh into the coasts of Judea by the farther side of Jordan, and the people resort unto him again, and, as he was wont, he taught them again. Mark 10, 2 And the Pharisees came to him, and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Tempting him. Mark 10, 3 And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? Mark 10, 4 And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement, and to put her away. Mark 10, 5 And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept. Mark 10, 6 But from the beginning of the creation God made them male and female. Mark 10, 7 For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and cleave to his wife. Mark 10, 8 And they twain shall be one flesh, so then they are no more twain, but one flesh. Mark 10, 9 What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Mark 10, 10 And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. Mark 10, 11 And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife, and marry another, committeth adultery against her. Mark 10, 12 And if a woman shall put away her husband, and be married to another, she committeth adultery.